Hello, welcome to part three of Simplifying Expressions for sixth grade Common Core. Mrs. Bino, will, our former teacher at Viking, will once again be leading you through the rest of this video. All right, we've got one more to do with the algebra block, so let's get to it. 5x plus 5 plus 9. Ooh, ended on an easy one. So let's start by representing our 5x. Okay, and our positive side here, and I believe it's plus 5 plus 9. So let's go ahead and represent positive 5 with our green cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then also positive 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, since they're all positive, we're not canceling anything, we're just combining. So again, our 5x is combined. And we can combine our 5 and our 9 together. So here's our expression simplified. We're going to go ahead and take our, oops, I forgot to take a picture of it unsimplified. Sorry about that. Rewind. Okay, take a picture of it unsimplified first. Simplified. And now go ahead and take a picture of it all combined. Okay. Last thing is to write our simplified expression with numbers. So again, we've got positive 5x plus a total of 14 positive green cubes. So 5x plus 14 is our expression simplified. Again, if we go back to our original expression, 5x, nothing to combine it with. So we've got 5x. 5 and 9 combined to make positive 14. All right, now we're going to start discussing how to simplify without having to use the algebra blocks. The algebra blocks are a great way for us to visualize what we're doing mathematically. But we want to be able to jump to the next part of this, which is being able to simplify without having to use the blocks. Because who wants to carry around of algebra blocks around with them their whole life, right? Okay, so simplifying without algebra blocks. Step one is going to be to somehow note the like terms. So I'm going to put the color code just because I love to color code things. So color code the like terms in the expression. Anyone else out there a big color coder? If I could color code my socks for when I wear them, I would. Color coding is awesome. So color code the like terms in the expressions. In other words, we're grouping the like terms together. Step two is to combine the like terms. Okay, and then our final step is going to be to write the simplified expression. So those are our steps for simplifying without algebra blocks. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so our first expression is 2x plus 3 plus x minus 2. So we're going to color code, so pick whatever color you like. I'm going to start with purple. And I'm going to start with my first light term here, which is 2x. Okay, so I need to find any other terms in this, this expression that have um, an x in them to the first power. Remember, think about with your algebra blocks, any blocks represented with the same kind of block. So I'm also going to color code x, okay? Those are going to be my like terms for x. Then I'm going to switch to a different color. I'm going to go with a pretty blue, okay? Now remember, 3 is a constant. It's a number that doesn't have a variable attached. Any constant should be grouped together. So I'm going to group 3 and my negative 2 together. Notice that subtraction sign needs to be applied to the 2. Okay, next step, combine like terms. 
2x plus x is going to give me a total of positive 3x. 3 minus 2 is going to give me a total of positive 1. So I can say my simplified expression is 3x plus 1. Double check to make sure you've combined all like terms. Okay, the next one we're going to do is 2 plus 8z plus z plus 5 minus 9z. So let's color code our like terms. The first thing that I see that are alike are, okay, this isn't really working as a highlighter, so let me kind of fix that for you. Um, that was 2, but I'm color coding it yellow. And then we also have our 5. Those are like terms. Excuse me while I kind of fix that. Okay, then we also have, and so since the color coding is not working on this video, I'm going to use underlining, which is just another technique. Now, the next thing that we have there in common are the constants, um, or the uh, variables, the terms with variables. So we've got 8z plus z minus 9z. Notice that I've also made sure to underline the negative. I'm just going to use two underlines to show those. So now if we combine 2 plus 5 is 7 and then 8z plus 1z minus 9z. 8z plus 1z is 9z minus 9z leaves us with zero z's. So we could write it like that, but the easier way to write it is we know that zero z is really nothing, so our final answer is just simply 7. All right, let's try a couple more. So we've got 12y plus 3x plus 4x minus 2. All right, color code my 12y pink. Hmm. Well, I see other variables here, but I don't see any other y's, only x's. Remember, don't combine x's with y's, not the same type of block. So, switch colors again. I'm going to highlight my 3x purple. Any other x's? Yep, we got a 4x. Okay, then I'm going to highlight my constant, which is negative 2, no other constants. Go ahead and start combining like terms. 12y is anything to combine with. 3x plus 4x is 7x, and then I'm going to end that with minus 2. So my simplified expression is 12y plus 7x minus 2. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is 7x minus 3x plus 4 minus 5x. Let's go ahead and underline our like terms. 7x minus 3x, I just want to change that a little bit. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger plus 5x. Those are all like terms. Then we have a constant 4. That's its own term that doesn't have any other matches. So we will go ahead and um, keep it by itself. So now to combine the like terms you simply say 7x minus 3x plus 5x, all of the red underlines. 7x minus 3x is 4x, plus 5x is 9x. Okay, you see that? If we, if we group them all together. And then we have this lonely 4 that just stays by itself. 9x plus 4 would be your final answer. Now let's start to talk about applying expressions to real life situations. All right, so let's say you're shopping. The cost of a jacket after a 5% markup can be represented by the expression J plus 5 hundredths J. Simplify the expression. Then determine the total cost of the jacket after the markup if the original price is $35. Okay, so let's write down our expression J plus 5 hundredths J. Let's start by color coding like terms. So J, and then I do see another J here, 5 hundredths J. So these are all like terms. Now remember that j at the front has an invisible 1 as a coefficient, okay? So that all together adds it. So we're doing 1 plus 5 hundredths 
gives us 1 and 5 hundredths j as our simplified expression. Now, they want us to take this one step further and determine the total cost of the jacket after the markup if the original price is $35. So we're going to plug in j, or $35 for j, okay? So 1 and 5 hundredths times 35, okay? And you can work this out. Let's set this up. We just learned about decimals. Stack, multiply, count, and bump. Stack them against the wall. Oops, and I ran out of room. Let me move this up. Okay, if we go ahead and multiply, 5 times 5 is 25, we'll carry the 2, 5 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2, 5 times 1 is 5, um, oops, I'm going to run out of space, you're running out of space too, let's go ahead and we'll copy this to a new page, just to make sure we've got enough room, I'm going to use my lasso tool to do that. I'm going to add a blank page below. Okay. Okay. So there it is. All right. Okay. So we've done our first row. Let's go ahead and cross out the five, anything we carried. Remember, we need a zero in our second row. Three times five is 15. Carry the one. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, okay? Add that together, 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 1 is 6, 3 plus nothing is 3. If we count, we've got a total of, oops, excuse me, two numbers to the right of the decimal point, so we're going to bump over one, two places. So we can find we can say that the total cost of the jacket is $36.75 after the 5% mark up. Okay? All right, let's try another one together. Okay, so this is at a concert you buy some t-shirts for $12 each and the same number of CDs for $7.50 each. Write an expression in simplest form that represents the total amount. Okay? So the key word here, too, is that you're buying the same amount of CDs and T-shirts. So we can actually use the same variable to represent how many you buy. So we're going to let X represent the number of T-shirts or CDs you buy. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our expression. So you're buying some amount of t-shirts, they're $12 each. But we don't know how many you bought, so we're going to represent that with 12x. Plus, you also bought some CDs for $70, $7.50 each, but again, we don't know how many you bought, so that's plus $7.50x. Okay. Okay, so to simplify this expression, go ahead and color code. And we've got all x's here, so it makes it nice and easy. We're going to combine 12x plus $7.50 x. So all we really need to do is add those together. So we can then simplify that to $19.50 x. Okay. All right, let's try another one. This one says, Manfred buys some boxes of cereal for $4.85 each and the same number of bags of pretzels for $2.90 each. Write an expression in simplest form that represents the total amount spent. Okay, so once again, he's buying the same amount, so we're going to let X represent... the amount of boxes of cereal and bags of pretzels, okay? 
Cereal boxes are $4.85 each. And we're going to multiply that times X because we don't know how many he bought. Plus, okay, bags of pretzels are $2.90 each. And again, times X, we don't know how many he bought. Okay, so to simplify this color code, we've got our X's and we've got our X's. So we're going to go ahead and add those values together. So we've got... seven dollars and seventy five cents x okay and that's our expression simplified okay so this concludes the lesson on simplifying expressions make sure that you complete the note check before moving on to the next step okay that completes our notes on simplifying expressions I know it was a lot but this is a really important concept and it really take some time to understand it and we use the algebra blocks to help you understand it. Please use the algebra blocks as you complete the note check to ensure that you answer the questions correctly. Bye for now.